not. One more win, and the 2019 Dunbar football team will be etched in history. All or nothing. We didn't come this far to lose, basically. We're not going home without a, a W. The Poets face Catoctin tomorrow in the 1A state final at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Dunbar is Baltimore's last hope for some hardware. Yeah. The only area team still playing. I explained that to the kids. I was like, you know, you don't have a lot of people behind you because of everything, the tight knit of this area. So, you know, it means a lot to us right now. It would mean a lot to do this for Baltimore because, like, a lot of other schools in Baltimore City, like, they're telling me, like, Karan, go ahead, do your thing, bring it home. The Poets are going for their second state championship in three years. Five players remain from that 2017 title team, including Dion Cruz Harris. He wants that feeling again. It's awesome. It's a feeling that you probably never felt before. Both Dunbar and Catoctin are 12 and 1 on the season. The Poets dropped their first game of the year to Mervo and haven't lost since. Over the last couple of weeks of the playoffs, they've outscored opponents by a combined score of 83 to 3. The offense, we get the defense height. The defense, we get the offense height, and we just go out there and fire off. Playoff time, they kicked it into another gear. Right now, this is when you want to start clicking, and that's where everything is so good right now. As for the Cougars, they're coming off a 41-0 shutout of defending state champ Fort Hill. But their run ends with Baltimore's poets who are ready to feast. We hungry. I don't think the other team wants as much as us. If Dunbar is able to win tomorrow, they will secure the program's 11th state championship. Kickoff in Annapolis is scheduled for 3.30 p.m. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner for Good Morning Maryland.